We're back here in Toronto at the TaylorMade Canada head fitting facility. Getting dialed into all my gear here today. If you haven't seen part one, it's up. It was up yesterday. We talked about the drivers and the three woods and we went through the gear system. I'll give you a little recap here. But now we're gonna talk about my irons my wedges and putter. I don't anticipate changing from these P750s, Modus 130, these things are money, but we're gonna look at the 730s just because, and we're gonna look at a new two iron, get out of the RSI and get into a 790, and then look at all the wedge options, especially that high toe wedge. So it's gonna be a pretty fun one. All right, first things first, we're gonna start at the top of my iron bag. So finding a replacement for my RSI UDI. If you've heard a lot about the 790s, they're really hot. Long iron especially, so we're gonna give the three iron a go here. It's 19 degrees. My two iron was 18 degrees, so it might not be too much of a difference, um, but we're also gonna try the UDI. But let's see how this uh, beauty goes off the tee and off the deck. Bye. Nothing's really changing. I'm just gonna roll a 792 iron into the bag with the same specs as my existing irons. Now we're just gonna, I mean, I'm probably gonna keep these, but we're gonna just check the lie angles, see that they're, they're right, and build up a set of 730s just to see if they could perform a little bit better than the 750s, but these things are money. what I've been getting asked about for a couple weeks now since the high toe wedge was announced. So I'm gonna hit this here, clip a few. Uh, apparently it's pretty, pretty special, pretty well performing. <laughs> some wedges in that high toe it's a lot of fun i can't wait to get it out on the golf course in the bunker around the greens gonna roll into the bronze finish on my wedges we had these a few years ago uh, in the first tour preferred wedge after atv and that was the finish i used so we're gonna put those in the bag same specs 54 60. Uh, only other things we're going to be doing is flattening all my irons before i go back to florida tomorrow need to bump them back to standard. They were a degree flat and I'm catching everything a little healy. So we're gonna put them to standard, which allows me to get to the center of the face. And then uh, I hit those 730s and they're amazing. So gonna have to put those in the bag. Very, very fortunate to have such access, but these clubs are so high performing. Um, I, can't, I can't deny how good they are. So if I can get stuff in the bag that's gonna allow me to perform better, I'm gonna do that. So now we're gonna roll a few putts and then uh, get into the build room and uh, wrap up this day. All right guys, the last thing we're gonna do is the putter fitting. I like to think my putter is pretty spot on uh, because of all the work I've done on Sam Putt Lab, but we're gonna show what TaylorMade can do here with Quintech. Quintech, is that what it's called? Quintech, yeah. Quintech is their system here. So we're gonna show you guys this stuff. You're talking about anything with this putting green. Talking about this is a perfection platform out of New York. The largest one in the world, 8 by 19 and it's uh, designed to give us dead flat ball roll. You just did? No, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, um, now on the, it gets us the right environment to be able to test. If you hit it, it went in because you hit right edge. So one thing we've learned from this is my putter had too much loft. So we just bumped it down a degree and that's got my launch angle better. Um, and that's gonna obviously get the roll better, but I'm starting it well online, face is pretty square and putting looks pretty good. So all that work this winter has, has paid off. All right, now guys, we're gonna head into the build room. There's not much to be built <laughs> for me since we're keeping me in the same shaft. We just are putting the new head on it, but we're gonna regrip my clubs bend the lie angles, 
do all those tweaks. But for anyone else that does come here and get a fit, we've got the straight to T program. So the driver that you get fit into, they build for you. So you saw that in my fitting back in 2017. So if I was changing shafts, I would have had that new driver built anyways, but we're fortunate that I just have to put a new head on it and, and go. Pretty easy uh, straight to teep right here, right here. <laughs> Boom. And this thing's ready to go for Q school. day. Wow, what an experience. It's pretty cool as a former employee coming back, but also coming back to a brand new facility. There's just so much energy and excitement. All the staff, every, all the guys that I used to work with and that I've got to know over the years, they all just love this place and they're all energized and they're all excited about the gear, but also fitting people here. So that's uh, really, really special to be able to come here in the first two weeks that this place has been open. My gear, wow, 2018 stuff's amazing. I am leaving with my driver. I'll put that into play for Q school. That's gonna be an easy transition. The other stuff, the new irons, I am gonna switch to the 730s. New three wood, new UDI, new wedges. They're all gonna be shipped to me. I won't put those in the play for Q school. It's just too short of a transition. I'll have that month of April after Q school to kind of let everything settle into the bag. And that's gonna be a really fun time and I'll also be able to film a what's in the bag. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss the what's in the bag, but you also don't miss what's coming up with a big giveaway. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers, so we're gonna do something huge. TaylorMade's involved, Adidas is involved, Live is involved. There's gonna be a lot of prizes to be won, so make sure you're subscribed. And that's it for this episode, part two of this amazing, amazing experience. I can't thank the team at TaylorMade enough. Nick, Graham, Cam, Kieran, who did my fitting, Andrew, helping me put all the grips on. This whole team, Jared, can't leave Jared out. He uh, He's always helping and he helped last year. So if you see him in the last year's vlog, Kevin. And if I missed any of the team, you know, you know, I, I really appreciate all the work that you do for, for myself and the other players across Canada and all the people who come into this fitting lab to get dialed into the best gear in the game. Guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.